Hello Aries, what's up? Welcome back. We are going to be checking in with what is coming up for you. Okay, this tower is about to fall down. Uh, yeah, no, this week I'm not on the screen because I'm not really feeling well. So hopefully next week I'll be back on the screen. So let's see what is going on here. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Swords. The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups reversed. <clears throat> so, Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Justice. And the lover's card, bottom of the deck, is the tower with the empress. Right, so there has been some type of painful ending here that you're still working through, all right? This might be saying that you want to rebuild uh, a, a connection or a relationship that has been fallen apart. Um, I feel like for the majority of you, you're being very emotional here. You are trying to get over this exhausting situation emotionally and trying to go with the flow. For some of you, you're definitely doing a lot of emotional healing, purging, releasing old wounds, releasing some type of traumatic ending in your life. But whatever it is, I do see you really putting in the effort to... Um, like practically to get over this situation, to not let it bother you as much as it used to. Even though you may not feel like you are in uh, in union with this person, uh, there is still a lot of things that you feel troubled about. Uh, there might be definitely some type of disconnection, maybe also within the family. But you're trying to keep yourself quite emotionally high all right like you're trying to find empathy for for everyone involved i feel like you have a lot of compassion also for yourself but also for the situation and it looks like with the six of pentacles you are about to either receive some type of solution from the other person to make things right or you're about to show because I feel like the justice is here twice. So there's definitely some type of meddling that you are thinking about. Like you're going to come forward after a long period of questioning things, uh, going inward and trying to make the best decision here. All right. Because I feel like eventually you want to keep things fair within a love situation. And even though there is maybe like a legal battle going on, I feel like you're ready to give whatever it takes in order to get a fair outcome out of this because you feel emotionally um, very attached to this. It's, it, this might have to do with, uh, I don't know, I do get like a legal matter here, but it does not have to be. But whatever it is, you are putting in whatever you need to put in in order to have a fair outcome for uh, both parents or for both people uh, whatever it is it's it is out of harmony it is out of love and um, i feel like you still feel a very deep connection with this individual even though things may not be as pretty as it seems but for a majority of you you are ready to make a huge shift in your life with this tower coming through as well so it's like after the after the storm, you're kind of like trying to find the right things or the right way to rebuild this connection because there's definitely been some type of a big tower moment here. And you're trying to pick up the pieces from this chaos. Cars coming through. We've got fake busy with wish. We got side hustle, drinking, toxic lifestyle, and uh, twin flames. So, ooh, I'm going to check in with the person on your mind here. 
the person on your mind, Aries. Because it looks like someone is making bad decisions for this connection. And that's why you may have felt betrayed, all right? Uh, this could also be vice versa, by the way. But there's definitely been someone that is maybe trying to gain money through wrong ways through the toxic lifestyle because we got the side hustle next to that toxic lifestyle so there might be someone that is trying to make money illegally okay or uh, you suspect that from your twin flame well whatever it is that money is going and even if that is not the case it could also simply mean that um, the person on your mind which is absolutely probably a twin flame might be using their money for wrong reasons they um, they choose for short sustainability and they may have like a very toxic lifestyle they're not really putting in the effort for the long term uh, whatever that might be right the person on your mind we've got the world card on Aries mind please the nine of pentacles four of cups and the sun they act like they can do it all alone that they can take the burden of this world on their own but it's not quite what it is all right so this might be someone that is quite stubborn um, with the nine of pentacles definitely feel like this is someone that is trying to be very successful in life but they can do it on all, all on their own the four of cups makes me feel like this is someone that drinks a lot or uh, whenever things got into a failure they they pop a bottle or they do something that is out of um, out of proportion because they can't handle it on their own that's what i get it's like the burden of the world they they act like they can and they want to do this all independently however they're not happy they're not satisfied with this they're really torn between like being free and living a very wild life uh, but this wild life might also have a lot of darkness it's like the sun and the moon so it it's like Yes, being single, being free, being out there on your own could bring a lot of positivity, right? But at the same time, it can also bring a lot of darkness and loneliness. And I feel like this, this moon is all about the loneliness. So maybe during the day, they have like a very good uh, environment or they hang out and do the things that they want. But the moment that the darkness hits, they feel lonely. And with the Two of Swords, they're a little bit torn whether they want to sustain their in like sustain their singlehood sustain their independence and doing things solo and on their own how are they truly feeling towards aries and what will they do towards aries Well, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Death card. They see you as, um, as someone that is very responsible, reliable, that you are capable of withholding yourself from um, things in life that can destruct you. So they see you very much in control, in control of your finances, in control of your um, surrounding, all right, like the tangible things. You're very much focused on um, on your prosperity, and I feel like they. It's not like they feel intimidated, but maybe they miss that practical side of yours where you really take care of your business. And I do see some type of inspiration here. Like they may feel very inspired by you. 
this may be leading them to wanting to put all the things behind and kind of like move forward on a steady pace trying to offer you some type of a real commitment here let's see what do they want from Aries Be mindful of scams is what I'm picking up on. Be mindful of uh, secretive accounts to not get in debt. Um, messages talking about what are they going to do Sorry, I have to have a minute for this one. Because we've got the Knight of Cups, we've got the Judgment, and we've got the High Priestess. So this, this is someone that might be really wanting to apologize, wanting, to, um, wanting you to see their point of view. Now, I feel like your point of view is this is a big betrayal right like this whatever they did um, it's clearly showing that you are not okay with this that, that that this felt like a big backstab to you however what i do see is that this person is getting enlightened um, they are opening up their own spiritual gifts when it comes to um, their spirituality and with that being said emotions are also going to be bottling up for them. So there is definitely a very deep spiritual awakening that I do see going on here. We can see that here as well with the spiritual gifts card. And this happens after they move on. This is, this is when they are starting to realize a lot of things within this connection. Now, King of Cups is also showing me very strongly that they are starting to realize and understand their feelings and their emotions starting to feel more em empathy for your situation because I do feel like maybe in the past they were not really wanting to see that part and not really wanting to see or listen to what you had to say or to whatever um, disappointments you had, right? So they were all about themselves. There could have been some type of selfish energy around them, but now they're starting to realize a lot of things. They're starting to emotionally mature uh, within this situation and with this eight of swords they're seeing their own shortcomings as well they're seeing that their own limitations uh, kept them trapped into into a situation by having some sort of a belief or some type of judgment and they need to release themselves all right they need to release themselves from that because it's emotionally tying them up and that's what they're about to do letting go of some type of Maybe an emotional abuse. I don't know why I got that, but there's definitely something, some type of addiction or emotional abusive thing that they're trying to let go of. Yeah, we got the devil, so this definitely could be uh, emotional drinking. All right. Uh, um, like definitely with the Queen of Cups and the Devil, there there has been a lot of uh, negative emotions and toxic emotions within this person. And because of that, they may have been 
drinking a lot or taking things that weren't really helping them keep the balance here. But also emotionally very obsessive. So they, they, they hang on to something that is not good for them. Ace of Wands. Could be also intimacy. Trying to uh, connect with someone. The so Ace of Wands could definitely be with the devil. Talking about like intimacy or having problems with intimacy could also be the case. Because they're too emotional about things so they can't get it up. Yeah. So maybe in the long run, in, in a time that you guys were distanced, they may have had uh, impotency, actually what I'm getting. I, I know that that's not okay, but that's really what I'm receiving as a message. It's like it's, it's so stuck on their mind, their emotions, that they can't get it up. All right. And that's something that's gonna come through to them like it's that emotional attachment that they have or uh, some type of addiction problem or addictive uh, energies and they can't get it up i don't know maybe they use too many viagras I don't know. okay this is the weirdest energy reading ever just know that these are not usual messages that i can get through in any reading so I'm sorry if you can't really deal with that type of information. Um, yeah, look at that, the lack and confusion. So they're starting to see that they can't perform. I feel like this has all to do with a lack of performance. And maybe they've tried with a lot of different people, but it was all rose colored glasses just to get it up and it's not working because they need to be trying this with the person that they wanted to have a family with or they have a family with, with could, which could be you, obviously. So yeah, this is someone that is a little bit stuck in their own comfort zone right now. Let's do you a, an advice. Okay, this is too many cards. But I do have like a spiritual awakening coming through. Intention setting and destiny. Very black and white type of energy, but I like it. So this might be the right moment for you to set your intentions in regards to this relationship, what you want from them and what you want from this connection. Uh, show the world the real you. So maybe you need to be a little bit more daring, get out there, make a bold decision out of love, all right? We've got the Ocean's Muse, Water, Wisdom, Intuition, Hermes, Light, and Discovery. So for some of you, maybe doing some healing in the ocean, uh, a cleansing or a release could be definitely very beneficial. Uh, you can take your crystals with you go into the sea and meditate with the crystals in your hands and draw in uh, what you want or you put your intentions and that is very very powerful by the way uh, cycle of life night magic crossroads and letting go and maybe do um, when the sun dawns do some type of letting go ritual and release ritual into the ocean. That could definitely be very beneficial for you and your relationship or just for yourself. Exactly. There will be a clean new slate or a clean new page that you will both be opening up here with the page of cups. So uh, I feel like you may need to see it from a more um, innocent point of view. All right, this is kind of like the inner child. This is someone that is seeing the good in people and also accepting some type of an apology. That's what I have for you, my loves. I hope that this message helped you out. Let me know in the comments below by dropping a like or commenting. If you need any extended readings that are not available here on YouTube, you can find it at theillustilluminated.com. The link is in the description box below. Thank you and take care.